So now second method that is related for extraction of crude metal from concentrated ore that is reduction of oxide metal oxide into the metal. Now reduction of metal oxide usually involve heating it with some other substance act as a reducing agent means it is oxidize itself by reducing others carbon or carbon monoxide or even another metal now another metal so special example is aluminium so when we use aluminium powder for reduction of specific metal oxide such as chromium and manganese so in that case aluminium oxide is obtained as a byproduct and metal in its normal form this reaction is called aluminothermite process this is for objective part the reducing agent that is here carbon combined with oxygen of the metal oxide so if you observe reaction here metal oxide combined with carbon so carbon has affinity for the oxygen it can form carbon monoxide byproduct and metal obtained instead of carbon if i will use carbon monoxide then carbon dioxide as a byproduct now question if i have carbon carbon monoxide which one is strong oxidizing sorry in this case let me compare about the topic that is strong reducing agent so you can say when carbon in that case carbon has tendency to oxidize up to plus 4 level whereas if i will start with carbon monoxide it has only tendency to go with another increase of plus 2 level so when we compare carbon can oxidize maximum up to 4 level it is strong reducing agent some metal oxide get reduced easily while some others are very difficult to be reduced. Now reduction that makes electron gain or highlight electron noting sorry electronation process. So here I can say reverse oxidation that means donation of electron and it is known as de-electronation. In any case if heating is required in that case such metallurgical process with the change or variation in temperature is known as pyro means change of temperature involved in metallurgy that is called pyrometallurgy. Now later on we will discuss about that. Now we have another point related to thermodynamic aspect of metallurgy. Now here we require output of thermodynamics concept. Now we know that Gibbs free energy delta G is equal to change in enthalpy minus temperature constant term and change in entropy that is randomness of the system. One more expression is minus RT ln K where K is equilibrium constant and if reaction involving change of electron means Redox type of reaction in that case it is minus NFE cell where N is number of electron transfer F is Faraday constant 96500 coulomb per mole and E cell is known as cell potential which is under the operation. Now so how can we consider whether given reaction is feasible means occur by its own or not. In that case we know that if delta G value less than 0 in that case reaction is feasible. So we can compare K value greater than 1 and E cell value positive. If delta G positive in that case reaction is not possible or not spontaneous means it is not in forward but more towards in reverse direction K value less than 1 and E cell value or E cell value is negative. But if delta G is 0 K equal to 1 and E cell value is 0 that means there is development or establishment of equilibrium. Now from the overall we know that when delta G value is negative reaction is feasible. And to make this we can design such a process in such a way that the delta H value is greater than T delta S. So when we apply this subtraction term, delta G value becomes a negative and we can say as per thermodynamics reaction is feasible. And when we compare the role of same as a reducing agent, maximum negative value of delta G, we can say strongest reducing agent capacity. So this is thermodynamic aspect related to metallurgy and then after we can go with other points related to this thermodynamic aspect.